Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, <laughs> I, I th well, this will be an interesting video, so I'm going to read this mail. But I want you to know in the background, I've got these pent up uh, it, you know, thoughts right now in comics. One of the things that happens is every now and then it's like jackpot. You know, when you you do the slot machine, you get like three, you know, three cherries or whatever it happens to be, and you get jackpot. For me, jackpot is three different individuals within comics, and the true like the mega jackpot is when there's like a you know member of the office team, meaning an editor or just an FTE at one of the publishers, a creative and a retailer, all come in with some just kind of batshit crazy problem all at once. And every time that happens, it, it's like jackpot for me because mentally I just start to tip over of like, why is this business so screwed up in this way? And um, not only did I get the three, I got three more. So I got six different kind of, messages all of which you know they 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 don't form a coherent story you you hear this stuff and it really does make you insane and uh i, I don't i don't know what to do uh, about some of this stuff like look you know you want to be positive about comics and i genuinely do one of the parts that i i hate about this channel to be honest a lot of the commentary is that i love comics deeply deeply love them they're, they've been a part of my life. They're, they're a major part. Of life. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a big deal. Um, I, you, I met my wife in a comic shop. In fairness, she didn't want to be in the comic shop, but you know, she came in and I, you know, I, I have strong feelings toward comics. And so there's certain things like that are a red line for me. And a big one is, um, a, a very big one is pay. So, you know, when I hear that somebody is not paid what they're owed, I mean, so one, one of the things that, um, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll learn about me or uh, you won't learn about me anyway, I'll, I'll, you just trust me. It's true. Is that when it comes to kind of money, financial deals, getting something done, my word is my bond. Now I've been late on things, meaning, you know, if somebody said, Hey, I really like to do this. And then I'm, I'm too busy. I've got 20 things to do only, you know, time for 10 of those things. And so that creates a, an interesting challenge. Um, but I always get to it. In fact, to an extreme degree. If I feel like I'm in danger of, of kind of welching on some kind of agreement I've made, then I will, I will just pay it out. This has happened you know, multiple times. I'll, I'll, I'll just pay out the problem because I refuse to, uh, you know, to, to let, you know, somebody count it on me and I'm going to deliver on it. Um, so it, it drives me crazy when I hear stories of, you know, about, you know, creators, for example, who aren't being paid. And I, I, I'm, I'm willing to, you know, look to me, it is a, I don't know, it, it is a blind eye. I don't know if that's right. It's, it's a blind side to me, whatever, where, you know, I, I can't really process some of the other complaints. Like when I read a article and it's like the biggest problem in comics is toxic male fandom. And it's like, no, the biggest problem in comics is people don't get paid when they're prom when there's a contract that's signed, when they're owed money, or you're making somebody who is, you know, does not have enough money to afford a lawyer or, you know, a regular thing. And they have to go chase down a mega billion dollar corporation to get what they're owed. That is a bigger problem. And it's, I guess it's all about perspective. Look, are some of the, you know, are some of the people online Bricks? Absolutely. Look, you know, for anyone who's followed this channel regularly, you know that there's people out there, there's other YouTubers, there's other kind of pricks out there who have taken a swing at me many times, um, unfairly. Um, and I think those people are dicks and I don't think they add any, you know, any kind of real value to comics. And I think that they are just here to kind of harass and cause trouble. That said, as annoying as these people are, as painful as these people are, no matter what tweets they write and everything else, I'm sorry, it pales in comparison to not getting paid, to a company stiffing someone else. And I think, uh, you know, I, it, like I, people ask me sometimes, like, hey, how do you read a comic book when you know the creator has been a dick to you? Okay. Well, classic case David Pepos was a complete and absolute prick to me. Uh, he, he, he basically exposed himself for being a complete child and you know, no, absolutely no excuse about it. 
I can still pick up his Punisher book and read it. I I don't know. I I've not, I don't know that everybody has this uh, this ability, but I can compartmentalize how somebody behaves and the comment. I can read it objectively. I I it, it just I don't know. Maybe that's the retailer in me. When you're a retailer, um, if you like like so for example, I've told this story before. John Byrne was supposed to do a signing with me. He you know, didn't 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 do what he said he was going to do. Did that bother me? Hell yes. Did I have to take it on the chin with a bunch of uh, you know people in the shop who were expecting something and they did they didn't get it? And so you know they're they're not blaming him. They're blaming me. I'm the one who made the promise that couldn't be kept that somebody was going to be here. Okay, all true. That said, uh, I happily sold John Byrne books. I will you know happily have fond memories of his Fantastic Four work because it is incredible. It's great work. I love it. I think today, if DC wanted to publish his Man of Steel stuff and a lot of his Superman books in little Tonkabon formats, that would be a very smart thing to do. He, The DC would make money. He would make money. I think Marvel is nuts for not publishing the Elseworlds or Elsewin X-Men series he did. That would be smart to do. Definitely they should hire him. Two things can be true at once. You know, a creator can be an absolute prick and you can also, you know, sell their stuff, like their stuff and, and put their stuff out there. Granted, you know, stuff has to be good, which in fairness is going to be the problem with Pepos's work. But, you know, that is what it is. Uh, I, I think that this is this is comics. If you love comics, then you you struggle and strive to make the best out of what you got. But for me, you know, the the I, I just have a lot of trouble getting past things like this person didn't get paid. Uh, this person was promised something and nobody got back to them. This person's idea was stolen. You know, this is a constant litany of things that go on in comics. And when I hear, and, and so then when, you know, for me, I'm just trying to explain kind of my point of view. When I hear, you know, a, a Heidi McDonald say, hey, this one retailer who said that, you know, gender swaps are not, you know, people don't like them. That's very a sus thing to say because it plays into CG talking points. Okay, cool. Is that is that the biggest problem? Uh, for a long time, I believed that these people were all being slightly, you know, hypocritical or, or not, not hypocritical is the wrong word. They were just they were being phony. You know, when they would say this is the biggest problem in comics, they knew that wasn't the biggest problem. Everybody knew this wasn't the actual biggest problem. Except as time has gone by, I've changed my mind. I think they do believe these are the biggest problems. The, if I went and I talked to a number of different writers, a number of different creators, a number of different editors, and, uh, you know, the, the various news hangers on, they will tell you that, you know, Wes doing a video on Thinking Critical where he's got a thumbnail of him giving like a sad face in front of a, you know, Tim Drake Robin going, this comic sucks, that that is the biggest single problem in all of comics today. I believe that there's, there. I, I, I didn't used to, but now I believe people actually think this is true. And the problem is, you know, clearly that is not the biggest problem. Look, when people aren't, aren't getting paid what they're owed, that is a bigger problem. When ideas are getting stolen, that is a bigger fucking problem in comics. Uh, not, not to say that this other stuff isn't annoying. Sure, it's annoying. Not to say that these other people aren't being jerks when they go on and on and on and on about whatever Vita's doing when Vita's doing absolutely nothing in comics. Totally agree. That is annoying. People not getting paid is worse. People having no job security is worse. Now, you might say, well, hey, I don't like Vita, so her not having job security, or they, they, them not having job security is worse. Uh, what, what, whatever. Uh, or deserve, like, 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 I lost my own point. Sorry. I got hung up in trying to get the effing pronoun right that I screwed up my entire point. All right, look, you may believe that some of these people have it coming and they deserve what they get. And that, you know, they, people were jerks, and so it's only fair 
that now they have no financial security and they're not getting paid on time. Okay, I guess. Except the problem is for the industry as a whole. My point here is if you are kind of Rich Johnston talking about the evils of comics and the, the, the things that are, are causing it to hurt, there's major business problems. There's major contractual problems. There's major financial problems. There's there's major kind of breach of contract and trust problems. Those are the big deal. Whatever is said on Twitter, whatever is said on YouTube is is not a big deal. Not compared to that stuff. You know, again, like like to my own point here. Um. David Peppos being a prick, to me, is annoying. In the grand scheme of things, it does not matter. It doesn't. Guy's not a big enough creator by any stretch of the imagination. I don't know if his career goes anywhere. I'm, I'm willing to bet he's not going to be the next Bendis. It, it doesn't, in the grand scheme of things, as, as you know, a retailer is opening up a shop, is trying to plan a business, it's, it's irrelevant. I re- I've already given it more oxygen just in this conversation than it matters. He doesn't. A friend of mine, comic vet who's been doing comics for 40 years, calling me up asking for advice on how to get their money that they're owed that they haven't been paid in two years. That's a bigger problem. That is the more kind of systemic bad problem in comics. It outweighs any of this other stuff. And until we capture that, until we tackle that, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's all about perspective. Yeah, I mean, hey, this hot girl panel, very SJWE and wokey. It it is. It's not going to sell. It's not going to do well. That's bad. We need comics that that are commercially viable that are going to sell for sure. We definitely need that. Uh, but you know, when the when the publishers themselves are treating people like like crap, I don't know. Like, feels like that's what's going to blow it all up faster than anything else. I mean, put it this way, you know, the big two can publish a lot of absolutely nonsense, go nowhere comics that are really cringy that we can do a lot of funny videos on. Um, that's not going to tank the industry. What's going to tank the industry is breach of contract, lack of business sense, no distribution plan, no digital plan, no supply chain. That's the stuff that's going to light the business on fire and never let it recover. That's the stuff that is, you know, terminal. Comic that's cringy and bad? Hey, yeah, it's bad. But, you know, 600 comics published a month? That, will, that one is going to get lost to time, for sure. But, not paying somebody when they're owed money. That's the kind of thing that's going to ultimately tip this whole business over. Anyway, not as sexy to talk about than a hawk girl panel, though, for sure. Why isn't she hawk woman? Is it a hawk woman or is it a hawk girl? Which one was it? I don't know. Anyway, hawk person. There we go. I'm one step away from just a Rick and Morty sketch at this point. Anyway, thanks for listening. 